Okay, well, welcome. We are going to start the Revolutionizing Healthcare with RFID webinar. Today, we'll be joined by representatives from Avery Denison and Terso Solutions, Inc. We will have a Q&A session at the end of the webinar, so please feel free to chat your questions in the chat box at below or in the Q&A as well down below. Um, and with that, I will hand it over to Ben Reed with Avery Denison. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sarah, and good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for joining the joint Avery Dennison and Terso Solutions webinar today. My name is Ben Reed, and I'm Market Development Manager at Avery Dennison Smart Track for the healthcare and pharmaceutical market in Europe. And I have over 10 years of experience in RFID, predominantly UHF or RAIN RFID. And for the last seven years, I have been focusing on supporting adoption and helping companies navigate the use of the technology in the healthcare industry. To give you a quick overview of today's webinar agenda, we will be covering the following topics. First of all, an introduction on Avery Dennison by me, and then I shall hand over to Dr. Nina Petters to introduce you to Terso Solutions. Following this, Nina will go through uh, current trends in the healthcare market and why RFID adoption is so important in helping to support the needs of the industry. And after a bit of background on the trends, I will do a segment on the basics of RFID to help you better understand the technology or for a bit of revision for those who already have a bit of knowledge. And then I'll pass back to Nina, who will then run through the key use cases that we see for RFID in healthcare and pharma. And then to finish up the webinar, I will touch on the future of RFID in healthcare before some Q&A to see us out. So to introduce the company I work for, Avery Dennison is a global leader in material science, specializing in the design and manufacture of wide variety of labeling and functional materials, including innovative packaging and labeling solutions, including RFID. Avery Dennison is a $9 billion revenue company operating in more than 50 countries globally. And we have eight manufacturing sites and five R&D labs across the world. And at Avery Dennison, we pride ourselves on our unbeatable R&D capabilities in having the broadest product portfolio and unparalleled global customer and channel reach, which allows us to support customers in the healthcare market to adopt and scale the technology globally. At Avery Dennison Smart Track, which is the uh, digital side of the business, we focus on all different types of data capture technology. In today's webinar, we will focus specifically on UHF RFID, or as it is otherwise known, RAIN RFID. But some of the other technologies that we offer include barcode, QR code, NFC, high frequency RFID. We also have different types of sensors and printed electronics, passive Bluetooth and ultra high frequency RFID, which will be the main technology focus of this webinar. There is also our Atma IO platform, which is able to assign unique digital IDs to items, giving transparency by tracking, storing, and managing all the events associated with an individual product. I'll now pass over the webinar to Dr. Nina Petters to introduce you to Terso Solutions. Thank you, Ben, and a warm welcome from my side too. So we are happy to have you joining our webinar about RFID and healthcare this morning and afternoon. So my name is Nina Petters and I'm with Terso Solutions for three years now. And I am the general manager of our European affiliate Terso GmbH, which is located in Waldorf, Germany, close to beautiful Heidelberg. Uh, my professional background is in science, and I will thus be responsible for the more non-technical parts in today's webinar. So for a start, I would like to give you a quick overview on Terso Solutions, so who we are and what we do. Basically speaking, we work in inventory management, and our vision and mission is to change how inventory is handled with the help of RFID, so to enable our customers and partners to have full visibility of their inventory at any given time. We especially focus on RFID inventory management for healthcare applications, with more than 3,500 RFID devices installed globally, including more than 1,000 healthcare and hospital implementations, and more than 750 implementations in laboratory settings. So being a wholly owned subsidiary of the Promega Corporation, we operate globally from our three sites. 
Our headquarters are in Madison, Wisconsin. The European office is in Waldorf and a shared office um, we have with Promega in Tokyo, Japan. So how do we achieve full visibility of inventory? On the next slide, I would like to give you a short overview about our portfolio. So we do offer a full range of RFID device solutions with a focus on our RFID enclosures, spanning all temperature ranges from room temperature cabinets, fridges, and freezers of various sizes to RFID enabled ultra low temperature freezers. Aside from the enclosures, we also offer a full suite of mobile devices such as handhelds and various different weak points. Our open API cloud-based software solutions complement our enclosures and open air readers and enables the integration of our RFID devices direct, directly into any ERP for seamless inventory handling. If an integration is not possible or wanted, we also offer Stratosphere, a standalone inventory management platform that is especially tailored to the needs of healthcare applications. We also pride ourselves on excellent customer services, which range from account management, technical support and field services, to more complex radio frequency engineering and many more professional services. So now, before Ben will give you a short introduction about RFID technical basics and benefits, we first want to introduce you to a short overview about the trends and dynamics Avery Dennison and Terso Solutions observe in our daily business, talking to our customers and partners. So first of all, the demographic changes that are currently happening, especially, but of course, not only in developed countries, have a high impact on healthcare. The first one to name here are the rising costs for healthcare through an overall aging population. Not only do we have more older people, but we also live longer. So what of course is general, um, what of course in general is positive for all of us has a huge financial impact on our healthcare systems. Also this long liberty, but also our modern lifestyle leads to more chronic diseases and an increased financial burden on the healthcare systems. To cater for changing needs requires healthcare infrastructure investments. And again, these do cost money. The overall aging population entails another problem, which is workforce shortages, which will become even more evident with the baby boomer generation retiring in a few years. In addition, as seen especially during the COVID-19 pandemic, the global supply chain is fragile and shortages, shortages of medications or raw materials can possibly occur at any time. So as a next point, the overall digitization of our world has an impact on healthcare as well. Patients nowadays demand more transparency and convenience, but also more control over their personal data and more personalized products and services. Healthcare in general is getting more digital. So for example, with remote healthcare, but also digital patient files. It is also getting more transparent too, both in the supply chain, but also overall. Caring for patients in an aging population cannot be let out of this equation. And here a shift to preventative care is observed as well as a focus on inpatient versus outpatient and a general strong trend toward personalized medicine. So all of these trends have a direct or indirect impact on the supply chain, and we will later give you some use case examples of how RFID helps support mitigating this impact. But first, Ben will give you a short excursion into the technical basics of RFID. Thank you, Nina. So what is RFID? So RFID, it stands for Radio Frequency Identification and is a wireless communication technology which enables you to bridge the gap from the physical to the digital. What this enables is the automation of the data capture process. And then combining this with the internet and cloud solutions, it allows organizations to gain real-time visibility into the status of its inventory and supply chain. And also because this does not require line of sight or for someone to manually scan, you are able to capture items simultaneously through the use of RAIN RFID. This mass massively helps in reducing time and resources needed. By tagging each item individually, you are able to give it a unique identity 
giving the item a profile and capturing its transactional history. Let's quickly take a look at what makes up an RFID solution. So firstly, you have the RFID tag. There are many different types of RFID inlays and tags which have been developed for their different requirements and environments. Evaluating which RFID tag is right for you is something that Avery Dennison Smart Track and our partner Terso Solutions have plenty of experience in supporting our customers with. Next is the hardware or otherwise known as the RFID reader. So just like the tag, there are multiple options for the RFID hardware. These could include handheld readers for scanning on the fly, fixed infrastructure readers such as tunnels, portals, doorway readers, or readers that can be mounted on ceilings and walls. And then you have more specialist solutions like Terso's best-in-class RFID enclosures. The final piece of the puzzle is the software. What software is utilized is based on the application type, or you can directly integrate into existing business systems such as an ERP. And finally, on this section of the webinar, why RFID and why RFID for healthcare? So RFID provides a greater level of inventory accuracy for healthcare providers, allowing for faster stock checks. It makes it easier to identify products such as medications that are either expired or nearing their expiration date without the need to manually check this. Many manufacturers, distributors, and even providers struggle with their supply chain and inventory management, especially when using a consignment model. RAIN RFID helps to improve these processes with the ability to provide real-time visibility and traceability, but also helps to combat counterfeiting, which is a critical issue in the healthcare and pharma space. Ultimately, the technology helps improve the experience of patients and healthcare professionals. RFID increases the safety of overall healthcare supply chain and allows for medical professionals to focus on what they really want to focus on, patient care. So with this, I hand back over to Nina, who's going to go through some of the use cases we have identified for the use of RFID in the healthcare market. So back over to you, Nina. Thank you, Ben. So as Ben said already, we have put together some use cases for the trends we observe in healthcare, and they are potentially fact on the supply chain. And of course, how RFID can support navigating these changes and challenges. So the most prominent use case is the utilization of RFID for high value consumables of any kind. So these consumables can be high value medication like cancer therapeutics or drugs for the treatment of autoimmune diseases or diabetes. But it could also be implants or other critical medical materials that need to be at hand in the right quantity at any given time. RFID track and trace solutions, be it smart cabinets or fridges and freezers, a whole smart stockroom, kit or tray solutions, Kanban systems or any combinations of these can achieve up to 100% visibility of your inventory at any given time. With these systems, plus the completing software solutions, inventory is tracked constantly and inventory counts can be done in seconds and reduce the risk of product loss and wrong invoices but also the risk of out of stock or overstock items. Also expiry dates or batches can be managed directly from the system. All of this reduces the overall cost, including of course the cost for scrapping expired product, shipping, but also cost and time for labor associated to managing product stock. Another advantage here is the better visibility of product stock if recalls are necessary, what leads us directly to the next use case, case, sorry, which is the utilization of RFID for better regulatory compliance and secure storage and access. So RFID can help to secure product integrity on all levels through temperature monitoring and logging, secured access to devices, and an advanced expiry and recall management. Common applications for this would be temperature sensitive pharmaceuticals or narcotics or other controlled substances that are to be handled by a specifically trained personnel, but could also be sensitive materials like, for example, tissue, biologics, or trace specimens. So RFID track and trace applications secure regulatory compliance by logging and recording temperatures on unit levels or chain of custody and keep documentation accurate. 
by only granting certain people access to the devices, plus the 100% visibility of any transactions, security can be massively increased. The last use case we have prepared for this webinar speaks to one of the biggest challenges healthcare is facing the increase in cost. So home administration is set to significantly reduce costs to the healthcare systems in the future. Currently, a large hurdle to home administration is still how to make it safe for the patient and also for the type of medication used. So why that? For an example, so how do you make sure that the patient follows the administration plan or has the needed quantities at home without overstocking and hence the risk of expiry? Or how do how to make sure the drug has been kept at the correct temperature at all times and product integrity is given? Here are some answers. So RFID devices can exactly track the time point when a dose or batch was removed, added, put back or applied. As the temperature in an RFID enabled device is traceable, it guarantees product integrity throughout home storage. And then as stock levels are tracked, what secures, of course, a constant supply of medication, mitigating the risk of overstocking and securing constant supplies that can be easily planned ahead. In addition, specific RFID sensors and tags as available for, from Avery Dennison can trace when a vial has been opened or measure the liquid amount available in the vial. So as all of the devices are connected, Patient and product can be monitored from the outside at any given time, what makes home administration reliable and controllable for the benefit of the patient. So this last use case already shows what the future holds in RFID, and Ben will now discuss this in a bit more detail. Thank you, Nina. So moving into the final part of today's webinar, let's take a look at the future of RFID in the healthcare market and why it will play in an important role in the years to come. So the requirements for greater efficiency and visibility in healthcare will inevitably increase, leading to automation and the adoption of IoT solutions such as RFID. Governments and authorities are introducing greater regulations, such as the commencement of the EU medical device regulation otherwise known as MDR. New regulations which focus on traceability of each individual product will also accelerate the adoption and interest in RFID. Increasing choices of RFID solutions and tags and availability of solutions that are specifically tailored to their use case are becoming more common. These developments have led to a positive impact on the healthcare market with a return on investment realized in ever decreasing timeframes and a substantial saving in labour and costs. Healthcare is changing and we are seeing a revolution in technology adoption, whether this be at manufacturing level, distribution, or at the hospital, or even with the patient, now accessible through smartphones using NFC RFID. With ageing populations, especially in developed countries, the strain on healthcare services is evident, and all the areas of health, the healthcare industry are struggling to keep up with the demands. Digitalization and automation will take on a more critical role in moving forward in all aspects of healthcare delivery. So let's summarize what we have taken a dive into during today's webinar. So we've covered RFID use in relation to patient safety measures, full visibility from manufacturer to the point of care, automated protection from counterfeiting and diversion, and full traceability for recall processes in case of quality deviations. We also looked at supply chain visibility, ensuring medical equipment and devices are in stock and at the right location at the right time. Automated restocking processes and less manual work, which increases time with the patient. And also a key topic, patient connectivity, improving patient experience, feedback, and giving assurances of a product's provenance and authenticity directly to the consumer. So that's it for today's webinar. If you'd like to discuss further what we have gone through in today's discussions, please feel free to reach out to me or Nina on the emails on the screen. Or alternatively, Avery Dennison will have a booth at Medica next week, and we will also be at Pharma Pack in January. And both Avery Dennison and Tursa will be present at Logi Pharma in April 2024 in Paris. And we would be happy to schedule a meeting with you at any of these events. 
So thank you from me and Nina for joining the webinar today. We hope you found the information shared helpful. And we now look forward to answering any questions you may have. Thank you.